Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today I will be detailing a base plate with anchor bolts using the number 1047 US base plate component from the standard applications and components library of Tecla Structures. And I'll be using uh, the US environment for Tecla Structures 2023, but all components and elements can be found in all recent versions of Tecla. I have previously worked with the component on projects that use either the metric or imperial units, so whatever project you're working on, you can definitely apply it. I have watched other videos on the platform where people were detailing the base plates manually, which I think is quite unnecessary since for most typical applications this component will do just fine. So let's dive into it. The column you see on the screen is already fully detailed, but I will start from scratch and follow actual design drawings from a project I was recently involved with. To save time, I have extracted all the relevant information in a PDF so that we can just follow that rather than dig through uh, a design set. I will now delete the component and only leave the steel column and the footing on which it is supposed to be resting. If I go into a section view, you will see that the column is already placed with its bottom most point on top of the footing, 8 inches away from the finished floor level as it is per the design drawings. This is important as when we start to detail, this bottom most point will dictate where the component will be placed. The first step of creating the base plate is to go to the standard applications and components tab on the right hand side of Tecla and click into the search bar and type 1047, which is going to be the number of component we need. As you can see, it is here called US base plate. I will click on it and it will ask me to select the main part, which in this case will be our column. I will click on it and select the end point of this column. As you can see, it created a base plate, but it is probably loading the standard settings which come with the component. But as you may notice, there are some things which are incorrect, which we will need to adjust based on our design to create the detail we need. Now, I will start detailing, but before that, I will show you how to open this menu, which is the component menu. And I did it by double clicking the green triangle, which is the component symbol in Tecla. If you can't see this triangle, I would suggest that you go to the display settings of your view and make sure that the component symbols are checked on. As with most Tecla components, you will navigate its various settings by clicking on the different tabs at the top of the component. Although there is no particular order in which you have to adjust this, I will start by changing the values in the parts tab. This is where we will enter the size requirements for the base plate and ensure it has also the correct material loaded. For this reason, I will now refer to the design information in the PDF. And as you can see, for this particular column, we need to have a base plate that is 16 inches by 16 inches by 1 inch thick. I will now go back to Tecla and enter the correct information in the plate row. The first one deals with the thickness, so I will change it to 1 inch and click 16 and 16 for the other two dimensions. For material, as I referred earlier to the structural set, I remember that it was requiring an A36 steel grade, so I will adjust this. And in order to modify our component, I will click on the component symbol and press modify. This is important and I also encourage people to always keep track of what is happening in the model as they're modifying to ensure that they've clicked. Because sometimes if I've clicked off the screen and try to modify, nothing will happen to the component. This particular tab that we have regarding the parts has a lot of other options, but for our example, we will not need any of them, so I'll move to the next one. The next one will be the bolts tab. And as you can see here, there are other options which will basically affect our design. It is where we will be setting the size for the holes of our anchor bolts and we will also specify the edge distance and the positioning of the bolts with respect to the base plate. I will now go into plan view so I can better see how our adjustments are affecting the base plate and go back to the design information to see that the base plate for this particular column requires four three quarter inch diameter anchor bolts. This is an important piece of information because if I scroll down, you will see that the oversize for anchor 
rods that have three quarter inch diameter require us to have an anchor rod hole diameter of one inch and five sixteenths. Into the tab of the Tecla component, we'll need to enter the difference between these two values. And in this case, it will be nine sixteenths. If I go back to Tecla, you can see that the tolerance in this particular box here is currently at five sixteenths, which is too small. And I'll change it to nine sixteenths. I'll click on the triangle and modify. While we're here, I will also want to adjust the edge distance requirements for this base plate. And if I go back to the design information and scroll up, as you can see here, all bolt holes are required to be two inches away from all edges for this base plate. I will go into Tecla and edit these particular boxes here, which control this type of behavior. I will click and modify and as you can see our bolts moved away i will actually check right now whether the bolts are placed at two inches away from the edge of the base plate and as you can see it is correct the next step is the one where we'll adjust the most things and it is the anchor rod step from the design information we know that we need to use four three quarter inch diameter anchor bolts that are of the ASTM F1554 material grade. As you can see, the material grade is correctly set from the get-go, from the standard settings. But for the rod profile, I'll choose the rod profile and then change the size of two, three and quarter inches. I'll click on the component and modify. With respect to the nuts, the standard setting correctly has them set at 3 quarter inch heavy hex nuts. But for the washer profiles, we'll need to adjust to use the USS washers. They're slightly larger in their outer diameter to the typical washers. And for this reason, they're preferred to be used for base plates because they provide a greater surface area. If I go to my profiles here and find the three quarter inch option. I'll select it. I'll click on the triangle and modify. If you don't have these washer profiles, I suggest going to Tecla warehouse and downloading them from them into their, into your model. For the next stage, I will go again into a section view so that we can see what is happening in this view. And I will adjust both the location of the grout and its size. As per the design information, we are required to have an inch and a half of non shrink grout. And here in the grout box, I'll place 1.5 and I'll change the location to be above with slope, which will relocate the grout and change its size. As you can see, our column moved, the base plate moved and the grout moved. I will redraw and measure to check whether the grout is of the correct size. As you can see, it is at one inch and a half. As you may have noticed, our current anchor bolt design does not contain leveling washers for the leveling nuts underneath the base plate. So for that, I will go into the settings here and select yes for this particular option. And I will add it to the assembly. Yes, I'll click on the triangle, modify. And now, as you can see, the whole assembly now also has a washer and a nut on the underside of the base plate. These are called leveling nuts and they are used to correctly position the anchor bolts and the base plate at installation. Now with respect to the dimensions for the embedment and the size of the hook, I'll refer back to the design information. And as you can see here, I have some requirements regarding the embedment, which would be 16 inches minimum. And I have to also take into account other information, such as the projection of the threads above the top of the base plate. If I go into the PDF here, I have actually worked out the size and the numbers that I need to input but you can spend some time on this particular slide and see what I entered and why I correctly estimated them to be so. I will now go into Tecla and input this information. For the size of the nut, as you can see, it's 
set at three quarters and for the size of the washer it is set at three sixteenths these are typical typically the nut has the size of the diameter it has uh, and for the projection here i'll go back and see what i have in the pdf i'll put it at two the reason why is that i prefer to always have enough thread above the washer and the nut to have space for another washer and nut above them so i'll change this to two and the other numbers i need to adjust are four and a half which would basically take into account the size of the grout the base plate and the projection above the base plate i'll click modify and as you can see our anchor bolt is adjusting based on that now with regards to the whole length you need to take into account the point where the component is setting the final length to i have worked out that the number that we actually need to input is one foot nine inches and one quarter one inch one foot nine inches and one quarter i'll select and modify now if i start checking whether these numbers make sense i'll check that the top of the anchor bolt to the top of the footing will have exactly 16 inches as we needed per design as you remember it is specified here i will also check whether the projection is exactly two inches that is also correct the base plate is at one inch which is what we required at the beginning and the grout is also preset to be one and a half. The only thing remaining is the size of the hook, which as per our design drawings was supposed to have a three inch hook. Now, as you can see here, it is this particular box, the B parameter. I'll change it to three inches. Click on the triangle and modify. And as you can see, it slightly decreased it, but it is a it is what was required from us it is measuring three inches and three eighths because i measured to the end because the component is measuring it from the center line of the anchor bolt and because i do not want to actually create a hook that is slightly shorter than it needs to be i'm playing it on the safe side and measuring the three inches from the center line even if it's slightly larger it would not be an issue as you can see uh, there is no concrete cover that we need to take into account in this situation, so we're good. This concludes the modification of our base plate. As you can see, it is quite simple. There's quite a bit of options you may want to investigate depending on your particular situation. But for the time being and this video, this is where I'll stop. I hope this video was helpful for you and if you were happy, please like and subscribe.